morning. Welcome back to my channel. For today's lesson, I will be discussing to you about shaping objects. When we talk about shaping objects, we are talking about the different shaping commands or tools. Function or the purpose of shaping commands and tools is to combine two or more objects. Also, when we talk about shaping commands and tools, you are producing another shapes or object out of one or two objects. So under the shaping commands and tools, we have here trim, front minus back, we have combine, intersect, back minus front, weld, simplify, create boundary. Also, let us not forget about break apart. So that is part of the shaping command. To start with, let us open Corel Draw. Let us try to determine the differences of each tool or what will happen every time that we're going to choose that command or click that tool. So to start, I will be drawing a square. I will be applying that as blue. Then I will be drawing a star. So I would like to change the color of the star into yellow. Then, I would like to place the star on top of the square shape. The next thing that we need to do now is to select those two shapes by simply dragging the mouse diagonally on top of those two shapes. In that way, those two shapes will be selected. But, to, but the other way on how to select those two shapes is to click the first shape, press and hold the shift key while clicking the second shape. So I have selected already the two shapes. In performing the shaping commands or shaping tools, there are three ways on how we're going to do that. One, you can always go to your docker, which can be found at the right panel of the screen. You can go to the Arrange menu or Arrange tab, then choose Shaping, or you can simply click the different tools in your toolbar for the different shaping commands. Let us try the first shaping command tool, and that is Weld. Now, click Weld. Look what happened. A while ago, we have two colors. Blue for the square and yellow for the star. But when I click the weld tool, there is only one color. And those two shapes has been combined already. So that is weld. Next, let us try the second tool. And that is trim. So to click trim, again, you can choose any of these tools. Or you can go to the docker. Then choose Trim. Then Trim. If you're going to go, Arrange, then Trim. So as if nothing happens compared to Weld, let us take away the star and move that to another place. Look what will happen. See what happened to the square? Part of the star has been remained to the part of the square. So that is the purpose of Trim. Let us try to check what will happen to the next tool. Okay? To place the star at the center of the square. So let us try to change the position. There. So again, select those two shapes. Then click trim or intersect. So if I'm going to take away the star and move that to another place, as if nothing happens. But try to click where you have placed the star. So I will click on this part, and I will choose a different color. Let's say, for example, red. See? Another star has been created out of the commands intersect. So that is the purpose or the function of intersect. Let us try to choose or use a shape 
let's say for example, I will be using or importing a picture. So I will be importing a valuable. This one. Then I will be clicking it here. And I will be changing the size. The shape of this variable is circle. Now I will be using a circle and draw a circle on top of this variable. So I need to press shift to, to form or control to form a perfect circle. So make sure that you're going to place the circle on top of that particular shape. Here. Then choose again those two shapes. The circle and the variable. Click again, intersect. Then, move the circle. Again, as if nothing happens. But once you click this ball and drag it to another place, see what will happen. You're about to produce a variable out of the shaping commands intersect. So that is intersect. Let us proceed now to the next tool or the next shaping command. I will be placing again the star on top of the square. Press the shift key, press and hold the shift key while clicking the next object. So we're done already with intersect. This time, let's click simplify. So click simplify. Let's see what will happen. See? Look. As if those two objects has been combined already. Next, let's try to use the next tool, and that is front minus back. Take note of the shaping command, front minus back. So let's try to click that one. Click again the first shape and the second shape. Then click now, front minus back. See? The square, which is being positioned at the back of the star, has been removed in your screen. And a part of the star remains in your drawing area. So that is front minus back. Let us try to use the opposite of front minus back. And that is back minus front. Take note of the word. Back minus front. So let's click that one. See what will happen. Happen. Somewhat similar to well. So that is front minus back. Let's try to choose another one. Let's click again those two shapes. This time I will be clicking now create a new object. Now let's try now the lens effect. So the lens effect, then choose a different one. Let's try to use wireframe. C. So that is wireframe. You can even choose a color. And the fill color. Frozen. Viewpoint. And move it. So that is wireframe. The last shaping command is what we call break apart. Take note. Break apart, we're not talking about two lovers who broke apart. Now, so, kidding aside. So, let's say, for example, I will be typing the text, Gladiola. I will be changing the font size. I will be changing the font face. So, I would like to use this one beyond the mountains. So let me just delete first this one. Now, I will be choosing or changing the color of the gladiola. Let us change that into color blue. Now, what is the purpose of break apart? If you would like to move those birds, you can move them from one place to another place. 
if you're going to change the color of each text, all the remaining text will be changed as well. But what if you would like to change the color of each text one by one? That is, break apart will enter now. So first, you have to click the text, then click Arrange Menu, then click Break Artistic Text Beyond the Mountains. Now look what will happen. See, only the letter G has been highlighted or selected. So you can now move that one and change the color. If you would like to change the color of L and move that, you can do that. So let's make it orange. The A. So let's make that as yellow. The D. Let's make it violet. So, and so on and so forth. So that is break apart. Break apart, usually, you can even move them or modify them. So that is break apart. Those are the different shaping commands and shaping tools that we have in Corelldo. I hope you learn a lot on how are you going to use or when to use those shaping commands whenever you use the Corelldo. Bye everyone! God bless and keep safe.